In September 2021, flustered by the government's lack of clarity on its policy for chipmakers, Israel-based chipmaker Tower Semiconductor had threatened to pull the plug on its plan to set up a facility in India. The company had been in consultations with the government for several years. In a letter, Tower Semiconductor had called for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's intervention to fast track a government proposal for chip manufacturing. It also wrote to the government 6 months after the latter started inviting chip makers to India. The company had also stated that any delay on the government's part would mean that it would be unable to stay active in the project in the near future. The company was the technology partner of a consortium formed by Abu Dhabi based Next Orbit Ventures to set up a chip plant in Gujarat's Dholera. About 3 months later, the government unveiled a 10 billion dollar production linked incentive scheme. to attract semiconductor and display manufacturers which seems to be bearing fruit in the past decade and a half india had tried unsuccessfully on several occasions to attract chip makers therefore the current response shows the company's confidence in the government's ability to provide the right infrastructure and incentives to build a semiconductor ecosystem the government has received proposals worth 20.5 billion dollars from five companies for setting up semiconductor and display fabrication units Vedanta was the first one to hop on. A joint venture of Vedanta and Foxconn, a consortium led by Abu Dhabi based Next Orbit Ventures and IGSS Ventures of Singapore, are the three companies that submitted applications for semiconductor plants. The applications have been received for setting up 28 nanometer and 65 nanometer fabs with a projected investment of 13.6 billion dollars. They have sought support from the center to the tune of 5.6 billion dollars. The Next Orbit Ventures led consortium's technology partner remains Tower Semiconductor which was recently acquired by Intel for 5.4 billion dollars. This time the government is being seen as more welcoming of chip makers than before. Vedanta and Elest, a subsidiary of gold jewelry retailer Rajesh Exports, have submitted proposals worth 6.7 billion dollars to manufacture display fabs. They have sought incentives of 2.7 billion dollars. This time there is a lot of hand holding going on like for example in the past it was you had this set of uh, what you call um, incentives you take it and leave it so here the approach is completely different so they have set up the india semiconductor mission which is supposed to be on the similar lines as indian space mission right so while as the the previous one what happened in 2009 or 2010 time frame and, and it was treated like any other industry so it it has been treated differently and this time it has been treated differently uh, this time the government is willing to uh, basically put their portion at the start semiconductors really needs that kind of handling if you don't if you handle it uh, like any other industry uh, so it will reach the same fate what uh, happened in the last time so so this time government is equal partner see 28 nanometer still continues to be really relevant what is happening is because of the 5g uh, a lot of iot applications are getting enabled and for iot kind of devices you really don't need to go into the 5 uh, nanometer or sub 5 nanometer 28 nanometer in fact 65 nanometer is more than enough for iot in fact you can even go um, uh, maybe lower than that as well from the government perspective i think their biggest challenge is now to pick up um, uh, the top two i think they have to put for the fab and two for the display so i think so that will be uh, a good exercise to be done and we need to ensure that we pick up the right people because none of us want to fail this time and the last thing we want to fail is because of picking the uh, the wrong set of companies I'm very happy and excited about the government of India's initiative to develop a very holistic ecosystem for semiconductor manufacturing, semiconductor design, research and talent development. Incentive package of 10 billion dollars is one of the best incentive packages in the world. Government has worked with industry and other ecosystem players in a very consultative mode for last one year to come up with this policy this is only a beginning of the work we still need to make sure the we get the right investors to invest into this uh, uh, ecosystem also provide them the right infrastructure 
right enabling ecosystem and also aggregate the semiconductor demand so the wafer capacity created by these companies uh, can be successful the duty of the government does not just end with the creation of a successful atmosphere for the semiconductor industry it has larger problems to tackle making chips is an electricity and water intensive affair that creates hazardous waste the manufacturing process also involves toxic gases and chemicals that are responsible for greenhouse gas emissions Greenpeace estimates that the world's largest chip maker TSMC alone uses 4.8% of Taiwan's electricity annually. This is expected to rise to 7.2% this year as production at new plants begins in TSMC's home country. When Taiwan was hit by a drought last year, TSMC ordered water from trucks to ensure no disruption to its manufacturing. When the government prioritized the supply of water to chip makers, this led to tensions between the companies and the farmers. Environmental impact is something that India should keep in mind as it fosters a semiconductor ecosystem. The semiconductor market of India is estimated to touch 63 billion dollars by 2026 compared to 15 billion dollars in 2020. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.